Hey guys, I'm at the beach at a corgi convention in San Francisco with my corgi, Gatsby. Check out all the boots. These are the ones that Gatsby wears. Check it out! Check it out! Look at those shirts! Yeah! Nice! Look at those t-shirts! Taking a little bit of a break. Are you getting tired, Gatsby? No, no. <laughs> There's my sister. She's walking Gatsby. He has very little interest in the other corgis right now. He's just like interested in running around. Gatsby's like, I don't really want to be by the water. It's the dog from it.
Incognito. Good job. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like walk like this and no one will recognize us. Let's try it out. It's working. Nobody's recognizing us. It's not working. <laughs> Leaving CorgiCon right now. <laughs> We're trying to. It's so crazy. I don't think that incognito worked too well. It worked okay. <laughs> Only a few people were like, who's that? Anyway. <laughs> and Sean had some fans too. I got a gift get... card to Subway. What? It was from Ali. If you guys remembered, Sean said he wanted a, a Subway gift card for Christmas or so she got him yeah. one. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna change it to Chipotle. Oh, okay. But Subway's, Subway's perfect too. Okay, we're gonna head back home. Gaspy, would you like some watermelon? Sometimes I think I should have done some of these things when I was young. I want to release, but where should I start? A good friend told me. Okay, for dinner today, I thought we would make some chicken karaage, which is a Japanese style fried chicken. It's not quite dinner time yet, but we're gonna start on it right now because the chicken needs to marinate. Okay, so in our bowl, we are gonna add two eggs, two garlic cloves grated, one and a half inches of fresh ground ginger, two tablespoons of sesame oil, three tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sugar, 10 tablespoons of potato starch, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and some freshly ground pepper. Next, we got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which we are gonna slice into one and a half inch cubes. This chicken's a little bit frozen. Now we mix and make sure all the chicken pieces get coated. And then we cover, place in the refrigerator, and let it sit in the marinade for at least 30 minutes. And that's all we need to do for right now, until dinner time. Now let's get on with the day. Since we washed you, we should brush you. What a wonderful day for a corgi, huh? Get to go to the beach, get groomed. Look at all this fur. You've been shedding like crazy. Look how much fur. Oh my gosh. Look at that, Gatsby. For those of you wondering, corgis do shed a lot. He didn't shed that much when he was a puppy. So I think that one of the best things that we got was that robotic vacuum cleaner because it vacuums every day for me, so I don't have to. It's probably not a good idea to have the air condition on at the same time. The fur's flying everywhere. Sit. <laughs> That's not sit. You silly corgi. <laughs> it's so funny. Fur is on fleek. Butt is on fleek. Wow, look at your fur. It's beautiful, Gatsby. You're so handsome. Hey fishies, are you ready to eat? Time to feed the fish some mysis shrimp. Water, plop. They're like, oh my gosh, food. All six fishies are out today. Go. Feed the anemones. The anemone grabbed the shrimp. It's closing up. Eat this one. After the fishies eat, I'm gonna give them a few minutes and then I'll do a water change. I actually did notice that the aquarium looks a lot better, especially the coral. I think that definitely the aquarium had very little nutrients before because I was feeding very little to the tank because I was told that you don't want too much nutrients in the tank, but apparently if you have too little, it's also a big problem. Now that I have more fish in the aquarium and I've been feeding a little bit more, I noticed that a lot of the coral did start coloring up. My Monty Cap coral did start darkening up and my long pond Toadstool mushroom coral has been looking super super good and growing at a steady pace and that is your aquarium update <laughs> And now it's finally
finally time to make our dinner! Chicken karaage! I'm sorry, it's not for you this time. Let's begin by heating up some vegetable oil. What we're gonna need to do is remix this. So some of you might have been asking, like, what's the difference between Japanese fried chicken and, like, regular fried chicken? And one of the differences is that it uses potato starch instead. It also has a lot more flavoring in it. It has, like, soy sauce, as you saw, and ginger. And we let them cook for about five to six minutes. You just have to make sure that you keep turning the pieces so they don't stick together. Salad and rice and a fried chicken there. It's time for dinner! Mmm, that's good. I happen to have like one with cinnamon in it, but it's actually really good. So Japanese style fried chicken is like a lot softer. It doesn't have like a super hard outer shell. Instead the flavor is baked into the marinade. It's kind of like a light soy sauce flavor with a little bit of like cinnamon. And yeah, definitely tastes like ginger and garlic in it. The squeeze of lemon makes it so good. Eating salad with chopsticks. Oh, get spit. We did it, Gatsby. We survived another CorgiCon. You guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you came to CorgiCon and took pictures with us and stood in line, I really appreciate it. I want to thank my sister, James, and Sean for helping us do our CorgiCon vlog. They helped film a lot of the footage and helped manage the line and help me with Gatsby. If you want to get any of those t-shirts that you saw all those awesome fans wearing, you can go to CorgiOnFleek.com. Anyway, other than that, we're going to head to bed and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night! Since Amazon acquired Whole Foods, they announced a whole bunch of new deals for Amazon Prime members. Let's see what kind of deals they have. I have a budget of $40. A special deal just for you. Yes, you, Sean. Yeah. An <laughs> organic cotton candy grapes. What? I want to try that. It's usually 